Luigi's Balloon World, a highly addictive Super Mario Odyssey DLC, has quickly become one of the most played games on YouTube and is a smash hit among the speedrunning community. For those of you who don't know, the objective of this minigame is to place a balloon in a very hidden place within your chosen kingdom. Other players try to find your balloon and vice versa for the prize of coins and leaderboard ranks. The idea is to make your balloon difficult for people to find, which is why I'm making today's video. My name is Copycat, and welcome to the best hiding places for each kingdom in Luigi's Balloon World. One very interesting thing about the Cap Kingdom is that it's covered in clouds and fog, so you want to use that to your advantage. The best way to keep your balloon hidden from view is to place it right behind one of the floating boathouses. You can get to these spots in a few ways, but the easiest is by capturing a pair of Goomba. Making sure it's behind the boathouse and in the fog will make it appear invisible to the finder. The hardest boathouse to get to is right at the beginning of the kingdom, and will definitely take you a few tries to perfect. However, because of how small the Cap Kingdom is, there aren't a great deal of unique hiding spots. One of the best ways of hiding balloons in the Cascade Kingdom is by using the T-Rex. If you destroy a pile of rocks and place a balloon where they were, then they will appear invisible to the finder, as they respawn cloaking it. There are a few other decent spots in the form of hidden ledges, and the top of the Cappy Scarecrow blocks that can be somewhat difficult to get. However, by far the best hiding place is achieved through a glitch that allows you to break the level and get underneath it. This form of cheating is looked down upon in this kind of challenge, and I'm certain Nintendo will fix the problem very soon. The Sand Kingdom is one of the biggest and most expansive in the entire game, which means there are plenty of good hiding places. One way to make your balloon invisible involves using the quicksand to place it lower where it can be barely seen. And don't forget about that hidden room! There are plenty of breakable blocks you can use, some more difficult than others to get to. My favorite hiding place by far in this kingdom is under the cactus. All you have to do is capture it, move it, and place the balloon exactly where it was. When the finder looks at the cactus with the balloon under it, it should appear invisible. Probably the best spot in the entire kingdom has to be on the sides of the inverted pyramid. You can get there by capturing the Glidon, or using your Mario platforming skills. Either way, you're bound to frustrate a few players. Although the Lake Kingdom is small in size, it is definitely not devoid of any great hiding spots. Probably the most common I've seen involves capturing a Cheep Cheep to swim underwater as far as you possibly can. These ones aren't extremely difficult to get, but may take a few tries to understand the exact placement. There are a few other great hiding spots, like behind the unzippable wall sections or at the bottom of the well, but by far the best spot is on the hidden platform that can be reached by getting on top of the scarecrow blocks then completing a series of well-executed dives, hat throws, and jumps. I couldn't get this one, so watch how YouTuber Rainbow Talkaway does it. In this large kingdom, probably the most obvious hiding places involves using the Glidon to get to. Using him allows you to reach many far ledges and platforms that are completely hidden from sight. If you capture a Sherm, then you can break parts of the wall section and place the balloon there. There are a few other interesting nooks and crannies, but probably the best spot is located in the Beanstalk room on the hidden ledge. It's really not that hard to get, but if you guys know any other spots in this kingdom, please let me know in the comments. Although one of the smallest in the entire game, the Lost Kingdom is full of secret hiding places, some obvious, and some not. Using the Glidon does make things a lot easier, but it doesn't give you many options for difficult placements. Capturing the Tropical Wriggler will allow you to place the balloon in a very small hole that's hard to get to. However, the best spot has to be the hidden room where Captain Toad is located. Because the kingdom is so small, it's hard to find a spot that will take the entire 30 seconds to get to. It's hard to even explain where to begin in this extremely massive kingdom. Not only is it expansive, but the tall buildings add an extra dimension, which makes it that much easier to hide balloons and that much more difficult to find them. The first spot I chose was on a high pillar that only could be reached on top of another building. Another good one I've seen is between the two pillars on the eastern side of the map. This area isn't impossible to reach, but it definitely helps that the balloon is only visible from one angle. Another great location is right near the beginning of the kingdom. All you have to do is crouch, then roll, and you have yourself a nice little hiding spot. There are also billboards on the side of the wall that make a good option as they're out of sight. The best hiding place for the balloon by far is in a tree that does take some skill to get to. 
This one definitely took me a while to perfect, but when you get it, the tree hides the balloon perfectly. You can also use this scooter to jump as far as you can and hide the balloon on top of a building. There are a lot of great places to hide the balloon in this expansive above ground and underwater kingdom. Using the Gushin allows you to reach many higher up places like the breakable box section, or this hidden ledge area. If you capture the Cheap Cheap, then you have an abundance of underwater tunnels and caves that you can easily hide the balloon. The best is probably the secret tunnel located on the north side of the map. There's also a hidden room underneath the main building in the kingdom. If the Gushon glitch still worked, there'd be so many hiding spots in this vast kingdom, but fortunately for us, Nintendo has fixed this issue in time for Balloon World. Now this kingdom is probably the worst for this mini game, as it is just way too small. One way Nintendo combated this issue is by encompassing the entire map in a blizzard, which does make it a bit harder in knowing exactly where the balloon is hidden. The best hiding spot has to involve capturing a Taifu and using it to blow any movable blocks out of the way. When the finder looks for it, they have to do the same. The only other decent spot is on top of the Scarecrow obstacle course. Not only is it hard to get to, but since the balloon is in mid-air, it's hard to see because of the snow. This kingdom is so big that it's almost impossible to show you all of the great hiding spots. I'll probably have to make a separate video for that, but here are some of my favorites. The first involves getting on top of the cliffs to the left, then completing a very long jump and a few hat throws until you reach the side of the mountain. If done properly, you should be able to place the balloon there. The next involves capturing a lava bubble and using the cannon to quickly travel to the other end of the kingdom. From here, there are a few great hiding spots that are out of view from anyone trying to find it. Finally, the last place is a bit tricky to get to, so let me just show you really quick how I did it. From here, you can either place the balloon on the edge of a rock, or you can use the flame bubble and get as far away as you can before the timer runs out. And oh yeah, I've seen someone been able to place the balloon up on the ledge here. If you know how to, leave it in the comments below. This incredibly large, multi-dimensional kingdom is definitely one of the most interesting in the entire game. One of the most common hiding spots I've seen involves capturing the Pokio and using it to scale the wall to the top. The spark pylon is then used to get to the higher up portion and from here you have two options. You can either place it on top of one of the pillars across from the roof or the light fixtures that are located just underneath. Both locations will at least make the finder try a few times to get it. The two hardest in Bowser's Kingdom are so difficult to hide that I had trouble even doing them properly and showing you guys. Both include doing a long jump to the roof below, and quickly jumping as soon as you land so you don't get stunned. This is very important as it saves you a few extra seconds. From this point there are a few options you can choose. The first is trying to get to the secret room by using the spark pylons on the left rooftops. Your timing to get to this room needs to be perfect, and every coin along the way helps to increase your time. The last option is by far the hardest. This involves rolling all the way to the end of the platform and using the spark pylon to get to the Tanuki suit section. From here you have mere seconds to capture it, and break the brick to place the balloon underneath. If you can do this one properly, then people will have a lot of trouble even trying to attempt it. The fact that this kingdom has a very low gravity makes the challenge of hiding the balloons very interesting. The most obvious spot is on the top of the chapel, with the goal of putting the balloon really high up so it's hard to reach. The next involves heading back towards the Odyssey and placing it as far away as you can. The lower gravity makes moving a bit more tricky, so rolling and long jumping is a must. The most impressive spot is on the furthest ledge in the kingdom. Let me know in the comments if you can get this one. The final kingdom I'm going to tell you the best hiding spots of is the Mushroom Kingdom. Peach's Castle is a decent spot, especially if you put it right at the top.
The random turrets laid out in the kingdom, especially the one in Goomba Woods, are great spots as you have to plat from the sides very skillfully. There are a few other spots you can place the balloon to hide it, but probably the best by far is... through the bridge? Okay, this really isn't a spot and has to be cheated to get to. It's just interesting that Nintendo hasn't been able to patch the scooter glitch yet. So that's going to be it for today's video guys, I really hope you did find it helpful. I'm going to leave a list of all my really hard ones up on the screen here so you guys can try them out for yourself. Please leave a like, comment below if I left anything out, and subscribe to my channel. Of course you have to hit that bell button now to stay notified when I upload a new video. I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next one.